This is Shelly. Uh, welcome to the Open Measurement Software Development Kit webinar. Uh, this is a show and tell um, session. Uh, as most of you may be aware, that we released the first version of the uh, Open Measurement SDK uh, last month, and we are organizing this webinar to uh, to showcase the capabilities, the how do you integrate, uh, and other details. So welcome back, uh, welcome, and uh, good morning to all those from Asia, and uh, good evening to anybody who's joining from the um, US continent here, America's continent. Um, we'll get straight into it. So we're gonna cover a little bit about uh, <clears throat> what the Open Measurement Working Group is, then we'll get into the details on what the uh, OMSDK is and how it works. Uh, then we'll go uh, into the onboarding details, like how do you get the SDK, how do you download it, uh, and then we'll have a detailed walkthrough on how do you integrate it on both platforms, iOS and uh, Android. Uh, then we'll get into a little bit details once you've integrated, how do you actually execute campaigns, uh, and then after that we'll get into um, uh, the adoption, uh, some uh, details about Expected, expected timelines, uh, guidance from MRC, uh, and, and compliance. And then uh, we'll discuss a little bit about future roadmap uh, at the end of this webinar. Uh, so before we get to that, just wanted to introduce TechLab for, for some who may not be aware of us or are not our members, that the TechLab is a nonprofit R&D consortium that, that uh, produces uh, standards, software, and we also offer services. Uh, the main objective being to drive uh, effective and sustainable uh, global uh, digital uh, media ecosystem. Uh, these are some of our uh, board of directors uh, who are the governing body uh, at the Tech Lab. Uh, and we partner with a lot of the other uh, trade organizations uh, like IAB US and um, IAB, um, you know, regional IABs across the world, uh, Ad ID, uh, the Coalition for Better Ads. Uh, the DAA, uh, the MRC, TAG, uh, W3C, and, and, and some more. Uh, so our strategy is basically to offer um, services, software, and um, standards to create a transparent, safe, and effective supply chain uh, to have a simpler and more consistent measurement uh, and to uh, enable better uh, marketing or advertising experiences for consumers. Uh, with focus on mobile and, and TV channel enablement. And we do this by way of providing standards, uh, the specs, protocols, technical guidelines like MRAID, VPAID, OpenRDB, VAST, uh, and software like the Open Measurement SDK and other uh, validation tools that we provide uh, for you to validate your implementations. Uh, and then, of course, we offer compliance services to, to certify the implementations of specific protocols or softwares to ensure that uh, one, they interoperate and they're properly uh, integrated or implemented as expected. Uh, the Open Measurement Working Group was created about uh, about a year back uh, to work specifically on the problem for viewability, uh, in-app viewability. Uh, we have 45 uh, companies as members today in the working group. Uh, it is governed by the, uh, a, a commit group uh, which has six members. Uh, Pandora, Google, uh, Integral, Ad Science, Moat from Oracle, and Double Verify and Comscore. So, Commit Group is um, uh, has been uh, leading uh, the open measurement effort by providing um, engineering resources for sustainable development, uh, as well as governing the roadmap and requirements and managing the overall working group uh, efforts. Uh, since we released uh, in um, on April 10 last month. We've had over 50 plus downloads uh, from uh, all over the globe. Uh, and these are some representative companies that have requested downloads. So we look forward to all of these companies integrating the OMSDK uh, in the coming, coming days. Um, so for today's webinar, uh, we have speakers uh, from uh, all of the Commit Group companies. Uh, all of them have worked hard over the last one year in making this happen and, and being able to release uh, the software. Uh, we have Joe uh, Renzenbach from uh, IAS, uh, Alex uh, from Pandora, uh, Brad from Google, uh, Ron uh, from MRC uh, will not be present in this one. He was present in our morning session earlier, so I'll cover for him. 
Uh, we have Sar uh, from Double Verify, uh, Kevin from Comscore, uh, Michael from uh, Oracle, and we have Mayank uh, from uh, IAB Tech Lab who's been part of this effort uh, along with me, uh, as well as uh, I want to acknowledge Mina who has helped set up all of this and, and uh, uh, help us set up the whole webinar and managing the webinar. So with that, we'll just get started right away. Uh, Joe and Kevin, I'll hand it to you. All right, thank you. Ready. All right, so the uh, inability to, to measure at scale with true independent third-party measurement for viewability uh, has been one of the most commonly cited inhibitors of uh, brand spend for mobile and app advertising. And that's basically the, the chief problem that we set out to solve for here is to ensure that an advertiser will be able to uh, run a tag and measure against uh, measure viewability and, and uh, further on verification uh, across all of their ad spend at scale, um, chiefly for mobile app in this case. Um, if we go to the next slide. So there, there are a number of reasons why this didn't already exist at scale. And this is why there's really an industry problem that we came together to solve. Um, so first of all, developing an SDK, which is uh, known to be one of the, uh, the best means of uh, measuring for, for viewability, uh, not only from, from a performance standpoint, but from an from a actual uh, trust and uh, capabilities coverage standpoint. Uh, but developing an SDK for that is a lot of work. Um, so first of all, you know, there are only a handful of vendors that had done it in the first place. However, um, there were more than one. So uh, or, uh, publishers in, and uh, ad SDKs that were looking to integrate them ended up encountering, of course, you know, black box challenges, you know, meaning if they encounter an issue, now they have to troubleshoot with somebody else on, uh, you know, on, on the underlying integration and try and figure out if there are multiple integrations going, which one it's actually coming from, uh, if there are any conflicts between them, et cetera. Um, and uh, adopting a new SDK obviously takes time. So if you're uh, an ad SDK and SSP, you've got tens of thousands of publishers uh, rolling out a new update to your SDK takes time, 6, 12, 18 months even for, uh, for somebody to go, uh, for your entire publisher base to go ahead and adopt that. Um, so when you have multiple vendors that are competing for the same spots in uh, the supply side's roadmaps, um, factor that with the fact that uh, you know, there's a long ramp up time or adoption period. So now you're looking at if you have all you know, multiple different vendors trying to push for this, uh, you're looking at four, five, six years even before a single vendor has complete scale across the industry, which is really what an advertiser is looking for. They need to be able to measure at scale and do so in a way that they can trust it. Um, and obviously the fact that you know, there are multiple SDKs trying to solve the same problem means that there is some redund redundancy. Uh, having multiple SDKs if you choose to support them obviously could increase the, uh, the footprint for, for the app, overhead, maintenance, et cetera. Uh, next slide. <laughs> So uh, the MRC actually uh, highlighted this in their uh, viewable ad impression uh, measurement guidelines for, uh, for mobile app, um, that they would support the notion of a single source standard that can be used by all parties, meaning that instead of having multiple SDKs, why doesn't the industry actually align on a single SDK um, and, and therefore you know, bring into effect all of the efficiencies that come from that? Um, and uh, fortunately enough, they've been incredibly supportive of this, uh, this initiative basically from the start. So, uh, you know, it's, it's come a long way and we're, we're excited to have them on, uh, on our team. Next slide. So what is, what is this really doing? Well, instead of having each vendor go and have their independent, separate proprietary SDK integrated um, and basically fighting over slices of a small pie when it comes to scale, uh, we grew the pie itself. And this means that if you think about it, it, it in, a, in comparison to web, in a, in a web environment, any vendor's Java, JavaScript tag can show up and execute and basically have access to the same information. And that's really what we're trying to do for mobile app. We're trying to ensure that uh, the ability to access the data and information and signals necessary to actually calculate things like viewability, um, that that's not the inhibitor, that, it, that a vendor is able to, uh, to, to make those calculations, to make their own determinations, to build their own processes, to validate them, without having the access to that data be the largest uh, prevention method for them to actually to, to provide that measurement. Um, so by having a, a standard SDK, obviously this facilitates the adoption, um, but it also helps with innovation, troubleshooting, et cetera. So we, we, uh, for members of the working group, we've made the, uh, the actual underlying SDK code transparent. Uh, obviously integrations are with the binary and not in source form. 
Um, but that enables the conversation to to be larger than uh, you know just the uh, independent vendor. It brings in publishers, it brings in SSPs, it brings in buy side, and that enables us to innovate and ensure that we provide the best possible solution to the market. And we actually see benefits from this. Um, you know, we're protecting user experience. There's a reduced native footprint. Uh, we can improve things like user experience. Uh, the developer experience is obviously improved because there's reduced integration and maintenance efforts, and we're we're making great strides in uh, ensuring that the onboarding process is as smooth and simple as possible, and we'll continue to do so, obviously. Um, and uh, this also eliminates risk around uh, vendor M&A. So if you had a proprietary SDK, and uh, that vendor that had that SDK happens to be acquired, you can end up in some interesting situations. Uh, next slide. All right, now I'll hand it over to Kenny. Or sorry, Kevin. Thanks. That's right. Thanks, Joe. Um, hello. Um, there are basically two ways that the IAB Open Measurement SDK is expected to be present within the app uh, environment. Um, A, directly by the uh, publisher into their app, or through the Ad Network SDK, um, which is then installed into the app. Um, this slide shows a basic depiction for a typical ad with the IAB Open Measurement SDK implemented by the publisher uh, within the app. In the publisher implementation scenario, when an ad is to be served into the app, the app notifies the Open Measurement SDK that an ad session has started. The Open Measurement SDK creates an API. Um, it's called the OMID API. And OMIN here stands for Open Measurement Interface Definition. Um, but that just acts as a communication between the native later layer and the JavaScript uh, that's running within the ad. The publisher ad server injects the measurement provider tag within the ad, and the Open Measurement SDK communicates through the API to the measurement provider tag that is collecting signals that includes uh, ad offset as well as add session events. Uh, the measurement provider tag reports this information to the measurement provider uh, servers. Next slide, please. In the ad network implementation, um, it looks a little bit different. Um, the, uh, in the ad network implementation, when the ad is to be served into the app, the OM SDK is a part of the ad network or ads SDK. The ads SDK then notifies the open measurement SDK that an ad session has started. The open measurement SDK creates the API associated with the ad and the ad tag from the ad net um, injects the measurement provider tag with the ad. The open measurement SDK communicates through the API to the measurement provider tag, the ad offset and ad session events, and the measurement provider tag reports that to the measurement provider servers. Next tag, or next slide, please. Okay, so let's go over what is supported today. Um, today, there's collection and surfacing of impression and raw viewability information for ad verification. Um, it supports display banner advertising and interstitial advertising on web view and native in-app ad units. Uh, video advertising is supported on web view using HTML5 video or native using in-app players. Uh, Video-wise, it's designed and support uh, is available for VAST 2, 3, 4.0, and upcoming VAST 4.1 workflow. The other areas such as brand safety and fraud detection or invalid traffic are both facilitated, but logic does not exist within the SDK to make either a blocking response or to determine whether an ad is invalid. Advertising ID retrieval logic does not exist within the SDK at this time and vPaid is not supported by the SDK. Next slide, please. And 